What's up, OCC gang? Yo, guess where I am? Just take a guess. Take a guess. There are no clues for you to guess, so um, I guess I will have to tell you. I am at Costco. Yes, I'm at Costco. I'm not ashamed of that either. I am at Costco because it was closer than Sam's Club. I have a membership at both places, but it is time for me to get some stuff, so I'm at Costco. And they sent a flyer. Like, I don't know if you guys, um, I need to turn my car off. It's kind of hot though. But I don't know, I don't know if you guys actually um, get the Costco flyer in the mail, but I hate when they give the Costco flyer because every time I get the flyer, I tell myself I'm not going to look at it because like when you look in it, then you want to go shop at Costco. They have all this stuff. It's like, it's like old school catalogs. You remember when they used to send catalogs to people's house like back in the day? But I know that I could have gone to the grocery store and probably used coupons and got things cheaper. But I don't know. Like sometimes I think buying in bulk is cheaper. But I want to get more like, um, I usually get frozen foods and prepared foods. But this time I want to focus on like some things like paper towels, plates, cups, forks, plastic stuff, utensils and stuff like that. That people have really been using. Because I'm tired of washing dishes when everybody feels like they should come over and use all of my forks and spoons. So I don't know. I'm just getting family stuff. And it should be fun. It should be fun to shop in bulk. So I just thought about the fact that I don't even know if I have my Costco card. Y'all, I literally switched purses, so now I'm trying to think like, and I switched wallets too, so I'm like, do I even have my Costco card? What in the world? Y'all, if I don't have my Costco card, I'm gonna be so mad. I drove all the way up here. I drove all the way up here. I can still go to Sam's Club. If I don't have it, if I can't find it, I can still go to Sam's Club, but man, I was looking forward to going to Costco this time. Oh my gosh, I think I really don't have it. What in the world? Found it! Costco executive membership belonging to Erica. I want, I'm not showing y'all my Patreon on the back. It's kind of bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm just gonna feel the vibes. I'm just gonna feel the vibe. Like whatever looks like is good and it's on sale and is what I think I might need, I'm gonna get it. But I should have written a list. I don't know why I'm so unprepared. I'm never prepared when I come to Costco or Sam's Club. I'm just like never prepared when I come to these places. But if it was the grocery store or like Dollar General, Walgreens, CVS, I'm super prepared. I'm super prepared. I have an entire list. I know what I'm getting, but in these stores, like I just always walk in and just feel the vibes. Now y'all about to see some stuff that I am not gonna be proud of, but I don't feel like couponing. Like, I don't feel like, like cutting coupons out or clipping digital coupons today and I need stuff now. So I think I wanna get this because it says they are only $7.99. $7 I think that's a good price. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Mostly because I saw it in the flyer and I wanted it because it was in the flyer. I think some stuff I just want because it was actually in the flyer. Do you know how like when you're using coupons and stuff, like if it's a good deal, you stock up. But if it's not a good deal, I come to Costco. I was going to get like veggie chips, like veggie straws. They're not my favorite, but they're healthy and healthier. Or Skinny Pop. Those are my two choices, but I'm looking at the Pirate Beauty. It's like $10.89 for a 40 count, which is more there's more in here than there are in the skinny pop because there's only 28 in there for 13 so that costs more and there are less in there these are 0.65 ounces and these are oh that's only a half ounce bag i'm not getting that those are like small little bags <laughs> small little bags pop corners what's in here can y'all see this yeah let's look together what's in here um 30 bags one ounce each I don't know. I feel like this is a happy medium. I'm getting these. I think I'm gonna get some of these Lance crackers too because it's like a 40 pack. I just want to know which ones have like the least amount of sodium. I'm trying to cut back on sodium, not for any particular reason, but I saw a lot of people doing it and they said like their health improved. 330 milligrams. Jesus. And this one, 240 milligrams. So I guess I'll be getting the toasty instead of the cheesy. So this one is like the cheese cracker with peanut butter and it has more sodium. So I'm going with this one because we like them all just the same. Plus when people come over, they're always stealing my snacks like this. So they can eat these. Seriously? Like, how do you eat it? Oh, they're like little treats. Freeze for a cool treat. You can even freeze them for a cool treat. I don't know what I'm saying, but this looks interesting. No, I am not getting it. I need reviews first. If you had it, tell me how it is. I'm not getting that. I literally don't have a plan, so it feels like I'm just walking aisle to aisle randomly looking for stuff. Like, I'm desperately trying to find something that I need to buy. Tate! These are 
my favorites. Oh my gosh, this, this box is so big. Like I get these at the grocery store for like five dollars for like the little one. If you've had taste before, like you probably know they come in this like little pack for like five bucks. Yeah, this is totally worth $10.99. I'm getting one of these. How did I never notice these before? Did they have these before? Wow. Wow. Strawberries and cream popcorn, y'all. Strawberries and cream popcorn. Y'all see this? This looks so good. I'm not gonna get it though. Look, it's $7.59 for this bag. A 24 ounce bag for $7.59. I wanna get it. Wow, that looks so good. Whoa. Do y'all see this? It says raw honeycomb. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And it looks so good at the same time. Like, wow. Oh, so like you can even place it like on a charcuterie board. Ooh. Y'all, I'm going to get some ramen. Because Deja likes ramen. I like ramen too, y'all. I've actually started to really like ramen. I want to get this one, but this isn't like... Ugh, like, I, the only reason I don't want to get this one for sure is because I don't like... Like, I like the ramen that comes in a bowl already. Not saying that I'm lazy or anything like that, but I like the ones that come in a bowl. Like, these are like the old school noodle packs. Like, you have to open it and make it. I like the ones that come in the bowl. You just put some hot water in there and you're good. But Deja told me I need to try these, so I'm gonna get them because they were recommended by a Naruto-loving teenager. And because she's a Naruto-loving teenager, I think she knows her ramen, okay? Always listen to the anime kids when they recommend the ramen because they know what they're talking about. Y'all, I'm legit proud of myself. I have not, not even once stopped for like a free sample. And they are like going hard on the samples like everywhere in the store as usual. I mean, isn't that what they always do at Costco? But they are like on every aisle with free samples. They got free pizza, free protein shakes. Like they are doing big free today, but I'm trying to stay focused. Oh, why am I walking towards the pizza? I'm supposed to be going that way. Y'all, I'm sad. Like, I'm so sad. There's this like, there's this like shrimp wonton that I used to get all the time and they don't have it anymore unless they just changed the packaging. I don't know if this is like the same one and they changed the packaging, but I don't think so. I used to get it all the time and I don't see it anymore. It's like the only one that I loved and they don't even have it anymore. They have this, they have this. I don't know, no, this cannot be it because the one I like did not come with ramen. I don't know, they have a lot of stuff that actually looks really good. Like this looks really good, but it is not the one that I want. It's not what I'm used to, but this looks good. Y'all, this looks real good. I just try not to like stock up on frozen foods. Like I try to make my food fresh. And when I can, I like to have stuff like this around, but it's gotta be something I know that's good. See, I don't know if this is good, but it looks good, but I don't know. I just don't know. I might try this though. They look good in this beef. I'm gonna try it. I will let y'all know if it's nasty. No, it looks good. It looks good. I just, when it comes to frozen foods, I'm like kind of like skeptical about frozen foods. Like I gotta know it's good. I ended up getting these too because like, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but one thing about me is I'm gonna get my Asian food. <laughs> let me tell you like sushi, everything, um, wonton, just all types of Asian food. See, this is the thing I actually hate about frozen food. It looks so good, but you just don't know what you're gonna get like when you open it. But this looks good and this is on sale. There was some more stuff I was looking at too, like, but those chicken melts caught my eye, y'all. And they had some really good looking fish too. Let me show y'all some of this fish. I was over here looking at this mahi mahi, like really frozen mahi mahi, looks this good. I know that's just a picture y'all, but that's what gets me when I go to the store. Like that's why I try my best not to go to the store like hungry because when I'm up in here and I'm hungry y'all, everything looks good. And then after I like leave, the funny thing is I always stop and like get something from Starbucks or even like a Costco slice of pizza. And then by the time I get home, I'm not hungry anymore. And then I'm looking at everything I bought like, girl, why did you buy that? What were you thinking? Like, but these look good too. These Jamaican beef patties. But I actually had these before. Those are actually good. These are actually good. That's worth the money. And I've never had these two, but that caught my eye. And of course, over here, breakfast sandwiches. Because I go to Starbucks like a couple times a week and get a breakfast sandwich. And that's a habit I'm trying to stop. So I was looking at all the different breakfast foods like Eggos and sausages and stuff like that. And I was thinking about getting something. I'm about to make a U-turn because I almost forgot to get some chicken wings. So let's get these chicken wings in the bag. Ooh, this looks good. This looks delicious. Oh my goodness. 
have y'all had this before if you had it before let me know if it's good like all the stuff i'm showing y'all if you had it before please let me know if it's good i want to know like because i don't want to impulse buy oh my gosh look at the price of wings oh my goodness 33.99 it's a big bag i know it's a big bag but it hurts to see these prices y'all it hurts y'all it's like god heard my prayer they have wonton up here for a sample and you know i wanted to like buy some wonton like oh my god please y'all tell me this is the same wonton that i'm literally about to buy okay so it's one of them hi yes okay y'all so i'm gonna try a sample because this is exactly like the brand that i have in the cart and if it's good we're gonna find out and then i'll keep what i have in my cart but if it's nasty i feel like god gave me a chance and a way out that's hot that was pretty good that was actually pretty good y'all the only reason i'm getting these pork rinds is because my sister asked me to she asked me to get some of these pork rinds they are really good y'all but oh my gosh the fat these are good if you're doing like keto i think i'm not sure i'm not doing keto i don't know don't take my advice on that just disregard i don't know i think i heard somebody say that i'm not sure maybe it was on the bag one day i don't know but anyways like my sister really likes these they're so tasty oh my goodness they're not even that high in fat though i thought they would be higher in fat they're not and they have zero sugar okay this is why i hate coming up in here y'all see this this caramel and cheese mix and over here oh my gosh cinnamon chips churro strips y'all what are they doing with the churro strips i gotta get a bag of these oh see that's why i hate coming up in here they be having me trying all kinds of stuff that i didn't even plan on getting i got pork rinds in here now i got churro strips wonton like my cart is all over the place and this is not even y'all this is not even the stuff i came up in here for i'm supposed to be getting plates cups forks like plastic cutlery and stuff like that and i'm in here getting churro strips lord y'all i'm actually going to get these veggie muffins they don't taste as bad as they sound y'all veggie muffins it sounds bad you know it's made with zucchini and carrots but they are actually surprisingly good y'all i just pop these in the microwave and eat them they're healthier dessert options and they actually taste pretty good like look one muffin a chocolate muffin is only 110 calories so i really like this one and it's not like i'm really watching calories but you know it's important to eat better because you know all of the stuff that we actually get at the stores nowadays y'all know this stuff ain't healthy y'all know y'all know this stuff that we buy is not very healthy so anytime i can get something with maybe less calories less sugar less sodium less anything then i get it these look kind of good this is interesting boba brown sugar boba ice milk bar look and you can see like i don't know if y'all can see that but like on the package you can see like the boba in the bar that looks kind of good i love boba tea y'all i love it like it's got to be the right kind because i can't eat all different types but i love boba tea this looks kind of good y'all do you trust like um mexican street corn in a bag it looks good on the picture i love some mexican street corn y'all i love mexican food like seriously next to asian food comes mexican food like i have to have my burritos chalupas everything tacos everything but it's a Mexican street corn. That's one of my favorite things. And I don't know if I would take it out of a bag because I'm used to having like the real deal. Oh, I reached in here to get some of this. This is what I was reaching in here for, some bowls. I don't know if I could trust the street corn in the bag, but I would like to try it. See, there's so much in here that I just want to try, y'all. Ooh, sausage, I need to get some sausage. There's so much in here that I want to try. It's just like, it's in such big quantities, like bulk. Like you can't, you can't get it and not like it. Then you stuck with it. Y'all look, they have chocolate covered strawberries. Ooh, I love chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, look at this, a donut cocoa bomb set. It says donut cocoa bombs, like how does this work? Oh, you put the cocoa bomb inside of your, whatever you're drinking. Oh, snap, that looks fun. Place one cocoa bomb inside of the mug, pour milk. Oh, oh, this looks fun let's see how much it is oh for $17.99 your girl's gonna have to pass but if somebody wants to get it for me i would definitely sit down and have a cocoa bomb with you for real definitely getting some chobani y'all i still haven't got what i came in here for yet i finally made it over here to like the forks and spoons and it's not as bad as i thought y'all check this out $13.79 for $360 but these are like the crystal ones so they actually look really nice that's not really what i'm going for though but $13.79 that's not bad for $360 but this right here look at this this is like how many in here 500 spoons y'all 500 spoons for 11.49 that's not bad to me it's not bad 500 spoons 11.49 and the same thing with forks are there 500 in here yeah looks like 500 forks for 11.49 so yeah 
So I'm probably gonna get one of the forks, one of the spoons, and then I probably won't need to get any of this for like at least a little while. Guys, so I just ran into Kathy Celebrant here, and I'm one of Erica's biggest fans. She saves oh me gosh. so much money every week. I go and, and copy and imitate her, her little shopping trips, and I have saved so much money, guys. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Kathy. So I'm gonna get back to shopping and hanging out with Kathy, and then we'll get back to the video. I do have more stuff in my cart than what you saw me get, but there is a good reason for that. I got caught up talking to people. Like, I was meeting OCC gang, in the store and I got caught up talking to people and we started eating samples together. So I was eating samples with people. One sample led to another sample and I don't know, everything just got out of control. But I'm happy for those of you that I met in Costco today, but I need to get up out of here because I ate way more than I was supposed to. Like I was supposed to be in and out and now look at my cart. I have way more than I was originally supposed to have. Oh, y'all didn't even see when I got the chicken. Yes, I also picked up chicken, so it is time to go. Oh, but what I wanted to tell y'all was, hold on, hold on. Let me pull out the Ibotta app because I was on Ibotta and check this out, y'all. Remember I was getting these anyway? They're literally on Ibotta, hold on. Let me scan them. They are literally, y'all I'm so excited. I had such a good time meeting people today. But <laughs> I saw these on the iBot app. Look, you get a dollar fifty back for each bag that you buy, up to five bags. So I'm only getting one bag, but still, I'll get a dollar fifty back. That's better than nothing. So it's almost my turn. Well, it is pretty much my turn after this person. So I'm putting everything up there. Let me show y'all what all I got. You see, they added a new flavor in here now. Which one is new? The um, spicy. Pizza. Oh, okay. It's my first time getting this box, so. Yeah. Y'all, he said the spicy queso is a new flavor. I didn't even notice that. I always get sea salt. Kettle corn is my favorite. White cheddar, I've tried it. But I didn't even notice that spicy queso was kind of new. So after all my info shopping, we are about to see how much I actually spent. That wasn't bad. I thought I was gonna spend way more. So y'all, I spent $192. Now, that's a lot, but it could have been worse because I thought it was gonna be a lot more because I did get some bougie stuff now. I got um, ramen, dumplings, um, spoons and forks, and those were like 11 something each. And then I got like chapati and then like at least acai rolls and chicken. The stuff I got wasn't cheap, so I was thinking it was gonna cost a lot more, but it was only 197, so I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with spending money at all, but I'm happy that it wasn't more than $200. so mad like I spent all that time in the store and then when I got everything here I'm thinking like I didn't get like staple things so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go to Aldi I'm probably gonna go to Aldi either today or tomorrow because it's raining real bad I don't even know if y'all can hear that rain but it is raining so bad but I want to show you some of the stuff I got just in case I didn't show you like a lot in the store just in case you didn't see I got these bowls six coming in the pack yeah six bowls coming here I got these bowls Hey Deja. Hi. Y'all Deja's here. She's supposed to be helping, but she came to get ramen. She came to get the free food. Robin. Like everybody else, they come for the free food. Um, yeah, so I got these for Deja. Here. Thank you. Put those up. Yes. She loves ramen so much. Um, and then I got these taste cookies. I love taste cookies. I told y'all that. I love taste cookies, but I, like I like I said, I get them at the grocery store. They cost way too much. Everything seems like it costs way too much at the grocery store, but what are you doing back there? <laughs> Everything seems like it costs way too much at the grocery store, but um, I usually use coupons at the grocery store and that way I can get my groceries for a lot cheaper. But um, since I didn't really feel like couponing this week for groceries because like it's just been busy, it's been so much going on. In fact, for the entire month, I really have slack on my grocery store coupon and sometimes I don't feel like it and that's when I go to Costco. So these takes, they were a good deal. I got those. I got popcorners, this huge box of popcorners. I told you about that. Yeah, the guy in the store, he was like telling us that the um, spicy queso, is this box like retaped? Oh, it is taped on. It's like, is maybe it's supposed to be taped, girl. I don't know. The box is like. Do you need scissors? The box is like taped. Yeah, I need some scissors. We're gonna have to open it with scissors or something. I could use my nails, but girl, <laughs> I don't wanna break them long enough. Hey, take long. Took you long enough. Okay, let's open these. Let's try 
We're gonna try the um, spicy queso flavor. Ah, oh. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like inside, and this is the flavor that he said was new, and I never had it before, and I didn't even notice until he like said something. So Les, you wanna try these? Let's just open them and see. You go first. My hands are clean, I promise. I was about to ask. I was about to ask, are your hands even clean? It tastes like popcorners. Yeah, Mine didn't give me spicy. It gives me good. It's like cheesy. Yeah, these are good, y'all. If you keep chewing, it starts to like taste like queso. Like seriously, as I was chewing, at first I was like, uh, this tastes like popcorners. But like the more I kept chewing, it really has like a queso taste. Y'all, and I also got Chobani flips because these are my favorite, 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 favorite. Can y'all see this? Are they upside down? No, they're not upside down. Chobani flips, my absolute favorite. I love them, love them, love them. Like every flavor, except for key lime. I'm not like really a key lime person, but I can be, so I get it anyway because I can be a key lime person. I'm gonna be a key lime person right now. I just wanna show you this. If you haven't had these before, I love these so much because it's super easy. Like, check this out. Okay, so you just open it. You just open, ta-da. Mm. I also ended up getting these chips, but I'm not gonna open them right now. But I ended up getting these, and I will let y'all know how they taste. And I got these, but remember, I didn't get them for me, but when I looked at the calories and stuff, it's low calories, so I'm definitely gonna have some. Hopefully, I'll have some if they share. And then these Lance Crackers, got these Lance Crackers. It's a big pack, 20 packs of six at the top, 20 packs of six at the bottom, 40 total packs, and I got these, like y'all, it's not that I've been craving these or anything like that, but I don't know if y'all watch um, Chicago PD. Um, the girl who plays, what's her name on there? I should know this, I watch it all the time. Upton, the girl who plays Haley Upton. That's her name on the show. She, on her Instagram, I love Chicago PD. I love all of the Chicago shows. And on her Instagram, she was trying to make these for like a couple days straight and then she finally got the recipe right because I think she's Greek. I think so. But anyways, yeah, she was making these and seeing them on her Instagram for like a week straight when she kept posting herself trying to make them, it made me just have a craving for them because it looks so good. I know they're not going to taste like hers. They were like an original Greek recipe that she said she got from her mom, I think. But it made me want some, so I got these. We'll see. Can I try some? <laughs> we could, we're going to try some because I don't know how they're going to taste. Like, I don't know how they're going to taste. I, I've never had those before. But they sound, they sound good. They looked good when she kept posting them. So I was like, ugh. I hate when people post good looking food over and over. Then I want to try. Okay, and then I got these dumplings too. These beef dumplings. I think they're going to be good. And because they're by that brand. Like we went past the table and the lady was um passing out samples. And this is one of the, well, it wasn't this particular uh, pack of dumplings. She was like, that's not the same dumplings that you're talking about. <laughs> like, I was like, why didn't I get that on camera? She was like, that's not the same dumplings. She's talking about uh, the other dumplings. My dumplings that I'm serving are different from the dumplings in her cart. I was like, okay, gosh. She wanted to make sure that if I didn't like the dumplings she was serving, I didn't like that mouth the, the brand. But anyway, it's the same brand, and I really did like them. I liked what she was serving. I did. And then these... Ta-da! These are actually really good. I love these so much. I mean, it's not like the bomb. You're not about to feel like you're eating like some huge chocolate cupcake, but it does taste. Not gonna go on a binge. You're not gonna go on a binge. Like, oh, chocolate cupcakes, I want more. No, but it does taste like a really good chocolate muffin. So it's 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 giving us five. So I really did like it. Yes, what else Chicken, was there? This is like. Oh my gosh, we're down to the wire on what I actually purchased, y'all. I didn't really get any like staple things. I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, that's why I need to stop going to Costco on a whim. I love it though. It's fun. It's so much fun. They have so much good stuff. And um, yeah, so I got this big tray of chicken. Big tray of chicken. You also got spoons. forks and spoons. Forks and spoons. And is that it? Dawn Power Wash, which I didn't need. Y'all, I have to confess, like I only got this because I saw it in the ad and it looked really nice. But I didn't need it because we got a bunch of it at Dollar General the other week for like we some how much did we pay? Like a penny? I Oh, I can't remember. I think it was like a penny. I don't know. That was at the store when the man was like, you can't record in here. That was so weird. It was so random. Listen, y'all. At the time he said that, I wasn't even recording. It was so weird. I didn't even respond. He was like, you can't record in here. <laughs> and I was like, 
You didn't even say anything. And he was like, yeah, you can't report it. And he was it, like, yeah, because. Because you can't. You can't. And I was like. And I didn't even respond, like, to his first statement so or his bad. second one. And he just kept talking. He was like, yeah, because you, you can't. Like, he was oh. having a conversation with me. I wasn't even talking to him. And, then, remember, and I wasn't even recording at the time. I was done shopping. My video was done. I was pretty much done with my video. I just needed to do my outro. But he was like, um, you can't record in here. And the thing is, I wasn't recording around him or in front of him. It was really weird. It was just strange. So that I, it made me feel like maybe he was stalking me in the store and he saw me like recording or something. I don't know. I was recording the shelf. It's not like I was getting him on camera. He, he, maybe he didn't want. Maybe he didn't want his boss to know. You remember? Yes, bro. Y'all, this man, that like he was the only employee working, and he kept leaving the store to go sit in his car and smoke. And then, like when more customers would walk up to the store, he would get out of his car and go back into the store. Or there were customers shopping in the store and he left the store, cut his register off and enabled the self-checkout. So it was like self-checkout only. And he left and he was sitting in his car just smoking. I know because I was sitting in the car. Um, when I first rolled up, he was sitting in the car smoking. When he went in the store, I ended up going in the store and he was the only employee. So I was like, interesting. But while I was shopping, he left again. I saw him leave the store and I was like, I wonder where he's going. Oh well, none of my business. But then, when I left the store and I was sitting in the car, I saw the same thing. He turned on self-checkout, like before I left, I saw he cut his register off, he turned on self-checkout. Then, when I was sitting in the car, he came outside, was sitting in his car smoking, and my sister was in there like, he's the only one in the store, but there's nobody in there now, and self-checkout is the only thing that's on. So weird. Last but not least, in my really weird spontaneous haul, I got this big pack of paper towels because I thought this pack was a good value. Do y'all see how big this pack is? That's a huge pack of paper towels. I thought it was a good Ow. value. It's sorry. <laughs> it says 12 rolls, 160 sheets. So I thought that was like a really good value. I, I, I've never gotten their paper towels or tissue before. So I'll find out. But anyways, yeah, like I use a lot of paper towels and I usually use my Walgreens points to get free paper towels. But today I was feeling kind of lazy. I was like, I don't feel like going to Walgreens today. I don't feel like going to CVS this week at all, this month. I am doing it my way, shopping at Costco. And I think I'm gonna end up shopping at Aldi too. Yeah, I think I'll go to Aldi because I didn't get milk, I didn't get bread, I didn't get random stuff that is like essential. Essential and necessary to make actual meals. I think I just got things that I had wanted, that I had been wanting, or that I had been looking at. But my haul makes absolutely no sense except I splurged on things that <laughs> I had my eye on. So I don't know, I guess we'll go to Aldi. You're rocking with the OCC gang. We learn to save a life. You can shop to your drop. Put a price you know. OCC gang. We learn to save a life. All you gotta do is watch. One coupon. Oh, see, see. Oh